Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is going to be my first attempt at a video of my collection, so please bear with. Uh, starting off with the 2019-118 scale Singapore Vettel. That was hard to find, I finally got one. 2019 Charles Leclerc Monza win. <sighs> High up top here, so it's hard to really see. Seb's 50th win, 2018 Ferrari. Looks smart. These are all look smart, by the way. Um, I'd like to say this is the R25 Alonso, maybe the R26 World Champion Hot Wheels. One of my old ones, actually. Um, this is <laughs> that Lamborghini car that didn't run very well from 1991, maybe 90, could be wrong. And my most recent pickup was 1000 GP for Ferrari Vettel, that nice burgundy maroon colour. And down to the cabinets. Bear with me, I might get some of these wrong, I might get some of them right. <laughs> there. We have a 2010 Abu Dhabi Vettel, world champ. 2011 Suzuka, world champ. 2012 Brazil, world champ. 2013, when he got the most consecutive wins in Brazil. I do have the Indian GP version, but it is a bit smashed up at the moment, so it is getting repaired. 1993 Donington GP Senna. This was quite recent this year, I think. Um, quite hard to find. I paid way too much for it. 94 San Marino. Well, Senna obviously tragically lost his life. This is a special box edition. 84 Monaco GP. Well, he would have won, let's be honest, if it wasn't cancelled. 86. Um, not converted yet, actually, but I do have the decals. 2017 BBR. Um, my only BBR. Um, came in the polystyrene box in no case. 2017 Australian GP. That was a good race for me. I got up early to watch that before work and well, you know the results. So 2014 just show car. And uh, got it for a birthday present last year actually from my girlfriend. And this was the first model I really bought myself when I got some money. Um, back was made like five pound an hour doing dishes, man. <laughs> but this is the 2010 Brazil win with a stand-up figure with a special box. I think it was 777 pieces, something like that. It did actually have a damaged mirror, but I managed to glue it. And down to some more Senna. My 91 World Champion car was gifted from my old man. This would be the 1990 car, um, J2. Well, <laughs> again, the accident happened. <laughs> And Senna was obviously banned for six months, I believe it was. The 92, this is my first GP replicas. Quite nice. Uh, flocked interior, if you can see that in there. And this would be my... Now this would be the 89, and that would be the 90. Yeah. All right, so this is the 89. Um, falling from this when they had the crash at Suzuka, the Prost, and this would be the 90. Um, down below, a couple of Bragos. Um, we want to upgrade them to look smarts and whatnot, but money's a bit tight. So there's the 2015 car and the 2016. Then we move on to a 2009 show car and the 2000 and uh, 2008 Monza win. Down to test drive where PK's Brabham was sent there. That was 83. Then we have the 85. Uh, Senna Lotus, the Monaco GP 87, and that would be so maybe that was 84, and this is 83. The Williams, I could be wrong though, please feel free to correct me on that. Half scale lid from 85, beside my 112, that's full die cast, the movie special edition. Well, it was about 8,000 dollars made, I believe. And a 112 MP44. This is not a champ edition, this is just show car edition. Um, it's just resin, so that's why that's like that. And uh, moving on to some more of my rarer stuff here. We have 2019 Spark, Daniel Ricardo, a bit of a glare there, sorry about that. 2019 German GP Bottas. I know it didn't go very well, but nice looking car with that front, front nose. And one of my favourite cars, which I did have one before, it came with a damage year wearing it to about two years to find another one, is a Landon Norris Dubai Test, the Junior Test, see if I can get a bit closer in there, the paintwork is nice on that. And another one that took me a long time to find is the 2018 Pierre Gasly Toro Rosso, really nice shine on that model there. 
And another one which, <laughs> more for comical reasons as you can see by this angle, <laughs> was 2014 Jensen Button McLaren. Um, just ugh, sort of managed to find, it didn't come very often, got for a good price, so I thought why not. And the 2006 Button's first win for the Honda, the Hungara ring. 2016 McLaren Alonso, um, but I saw my old man, um, a nice touch. He's actually an Alonso fan by the way, that's why a lot of these from old man are Alonso or either Senna. So. And when I took a wee break for a year or two, this was the more that got me back into it. 2017 Carlos Sainz, really like the paintwork on this, it's a spark. And then another spark we have Charles Leclerc, Azerbaijan, P4. That's a cool one. It was rare and then they re-released it, but I believe it's rare again, so who would know. We have a James Hunt Heskiff. This is from Zandvoort, I believe. I could be wrong. I'm sure it's Dutch. Please feel free to correct me again. I'm sure we would have a bit of research again before I've done this video. My 1985... No, 84, because 85 was done free. So 84, Edo de Angelis, it's converted. My 86, Kiki Rosberg, and um, Portuguese GP where they ran that yellow, it was for gold, Marlboros. Um, a lot of people think it's faded, but no, that is, it's like 240 pieces. A recent pickup, a Laura, I feel like it's a 78 or 79 Brabham, I can't quite remember. I feel like it's 78 for some reason. Um, it's a practice one as well, or from qualifying, it's not an actual race car. Probably did get run the race, but never mind. 86 Dumfries, this is so recently died this year. Um, fellow Scotsman, so it's always good to have Scottish models. 87 Prost, nice there, Marlboro converted. 86 Nigel Manzel, um, believe these are really hard to find now. Glad I picked the one up when I did. And 85 Nicolai just last year, um, Marlboro converted, that's obviously the year after he won the championship. I like that car, it's nice. And I think this is a 90 or 91, uh, John Alesi, when he was holding up Senna in Detroit. That's always a good clip to watch. Um, fortunately, Alesi didn't have the best decisions in team movements, otherwise I think he would have achieved a lot more. 91, Leighton House, Spark, Guzelman, uh, used to be Senna's flatmate, I believe. So, nice to have that in the collection. Cool colour as well, the Leighton House cars were nice, just didn't really achieve very much. 93, Bennett and Schumacher, Monaco GP. Um, that was bought down at the start of lockdown actually last year, so that was a nice pick me up. Jägermeister, I uh, know this is a 91 car, I just can't remember who drives it and what the team was actually called. I don't believe they'd done very much, I think they had one race. Never really got through qualifying back in then, but still, really smart colour, nice livery. Everyone likes a Jägermeister livery. And this would be the. I wanted to say 98, Stuart, when Herbert won um, the European Grand Prix, but it could be 99, but I think it's 98. I'm sure it's 98. Um, 2005, Star Wars, Avengers, Sith, my favourite movie of all time, and David Coulthard, fellow Scotchman. There's a couple of areas missing, but I do have a donor card to fix that eventually. I will get around to it. And 2007, Valencia Test, Sebastian Vettel. 2009, World Champ, James Button, LeBron. James Hunt from a. Uh, <laughs> I want to say 76, but I'm probably totally wrong on that. Another car, uh, Jan Lammers, Sandefort Grand Prix. I wish I could remember the team, but I can't. And uh, Stefan Beloff, that would be 85, 84, no, 84, because he died in 85, didn't he? 84, Tyrrell. Um, yeah, that's from the. It's not the British Grand Prix version, I think it's, I'm sure that's maybe Zandavert as well. And the 91 Schumacher debut at Spa with the Jordan. Yep, thank you guys. My first video. If you want to see more reviews, I'm always getting more models, please feel free in the comments. Don't be too nasty, first video. And thank you very much for watching.